Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at SQLite database inside of Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So SQLite is a relational database management system which is contained in the C library. SQLite is not client-server database, but rather embedded into the end program. SQLite is a popular choice as embedded database software for local client storage in application software, such as web browser, mobile phone applications, desktop applications, etc. SQLite is arguably the most widely deployed database engine it, is, it also has bindings to many programming languages, such as C-sharp, which we're going to look at in this video. So, so in this video, we will precisely look at SQLite entity framework called Database Provider. So, we will actually look at SQLite in the lens of a of an entity framework developer so we we'll, we we'll get started by actually clicking on the file it's the start window the create new project so here we're going to select the console app .net core then once that bit is selected then we can click on the next so here obviously you can configure your project details but we're not going to look too much into that so we click on the create So while it's being loaded, so the SQLite entity framework called database provider. So this database provider allows entity framework call to be used with SQLite. And this is also maintained as part of the entity framework call stack. So as you can see here now, we've actually got um, the, the blank console app created. So what we would do is we're going to add a new, a new class so it's a public class and we're going to call it product and we're just gonna have like three attributes so we're gonna have an int which is a product ID And we're gonna get a string, which will be the product name. Then we're gonna get um, double, which will be the price. So here, of course, is a product ID. So this, we move this bit here to product.cs. So here, what we do, so what we do is we actually right click on the dependencies, then we go to manage new get packages. So we come inside the install, I mean the browse bit here. So what we do is we are going to enter microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sqlite. So that is normally the first one. So it's microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sqlite. So we actually install this bit here. So we click OK and we accept. So once we've got the package installed, we're just going to close the new get package, then the new get package manager. Then we're going to create a new class. It's a public class. So we're going to say SQLite DB contest. So this actually inherits DB contest. So this will be on the Microsoft dot entity framework call. So what we do is we move the SQLite DB contest to SQLite DB contest dot So that's that's the class that is actually created here now. So what we do is we put um, public create a 
property db set property product and we can say products and it's a get set so we're going to override two methods so the first bit is protected override on configuring so we're going to configure the application to use um, SQL light so what we do is um, the options builder dot use SQL light so as you can see here we can see this bit here now so this is what we do put the file name here so this will be the name of the database is equal to so we're gonna call this um, SQLite DB1 yeah then we're going to span this with an option here option okay so inside here we're just gonna put a semicolon here that we we'll press and so here well, this is what we're gonna put here we're gonna put option dot migration assembly so we're gonna say assembly so here we're doing a bit of reflection assembly dot get executing assembly so here the dot full name so we get the full name of the executing assembly so that's all we're going to do for this bit here so the next bit is of course we we create another overriding method which is a protected override on model creating so here we can set our database table so here we can say model builder dot entity so the entity is of course product the product objects so we could say to table so we create a um, products So we put a products table and then the schema. So we're just gonna put test, just test for the schema. Yeah. So the next bit is is the same model builder dot entity through the products. So in here we're gonna say entity so we're gonna put some options inside this entity here so we're gonna say entity so we're gonna set the primary keys as key so this will be K k dot product id so that will be the key and then entity entity dot we set the index has index so we could say um, i for the index i dot product name and then we set it to unique it's unique so that's all we're going to need for the um, the DB contest so we come inside the program so here we're going to make a static async task so that's we're going to change the main to t static async task yeah so we're going to leave the hello world here 
So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to start with a variable. This will be our DB name. This will be equal to. So we come inside the DB contest. So the DB name that we set here, we copy this DB name. So we set it here, we put it, we paste it here, dot DB, we put a dot DB link, I mean extension. Then we can say, if file, so file in system.io dot assist, So we put the DB name. If file is this, then we can say file dot delete. Dot delete DB, DB name. Otherwise we continue. So we can say um, await using so we start we create a new variable are we to using <coughs> variable so this will be our db contest is equal to new sqlite db contest so <coughs> we can say await DB contest dot database dot ensure created async. Then we can say again await DB contest dot products dot add range. So we're going to add some products async. So we can say that we can create a new product array here. So here we can add some products. So new products. So inside here, we can add a product ID, not product ID, product name. Apple and a price ten ninety nine. So what we do is we're just gonna copy and paste them all over. We're just gonna make free. Just change the prices and the names. So we're just gonna make this bit mango. And banana so that's all we have for here now so now we can say okay so now after the task we can say await DB DB contest dot save changes async so that's what we're going to do for here now. So now we can come down a bit and look inside the database and get the information. So we could say console.writeLine um, getting database data. So we can do that by say db contest dot products so we check whether it's not now dot we convert to list dot for each so we loop through so p for product then we can print them out 
so we can say we can put the product name first so we can say p p dot product name and then price we can say p dot price then we can convert it to money so that's that's all we're gonna do for the video now so now i'm just gonna run it so we can see what actually comes out of it so let's hope everything works out so i'm just gonna put console.readline here so that we can see what is actually going on so i'm just gonna run it so fingers crossed the whole thing works i'm gonna pause it while the whole thing runs so as you can see here now we've been able to create the database and actually get the data from the SQLite database so what we do is we're just gonna come inside the solution now we come inside all files sh show all files so we come inside the bin and debug dot net call 3.1 we scroll down we look for we're gonna look for the db created so as you can see top here SQLite db1 that's the one that is created now so i'm just going to leave it here and i hope you actually explore the sqlite further in terms of using it for other applications so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you'll have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace